The acquisition program for Whitbread has been pretty substantial over the last decade in order to grow Premier Inn to where it is today, which is the UK's largest hotel brand. The estate is now running at just under 75,000 rooms in the UK. Over the last five, six years, we've been opening four to 5,000 rooms per year. Our hotel portfolio has increased by 35% in the last four years. We continue to look for new sites to fill our pipeline of new developments. London is a pretty fundamental market for Whitbread and Premier Inn. We've now risen to about 13,000 rooms within the M25. That makes us the largest hotel brand within the capital. The aim is to kind of double that, and that accounts for probably about 50% of the future requirement for the UK. We're doing a 28-storey tower in Canary Wharf, adjacent to a 30-storey residential block. It will be the uh, tallest Premier Inn in the UK um, and one of the largest at 400 beds. The success of Whitbread as a hotelier is based upon exceeding our customers' expectations. It's about quality and consistency of service. Obviously in London, it's about transport locations. We have an excellent new Premier Inn at West Smithfield, which is a short distance walk to Farringdon, one of the most important stations in London. This year we've signed up to do an exciting project at Paddington, which is a market which previously Whitbread hadn't been in, and we're in for planning on a site for a hub near Marrowbone Station. We believe we're unique in the branded hotel market in that we can offer leasehold deals, freehold deals uh, where we'll spend our own money acquiring sites and investment grade yields. One of the schemes that is coming forward and starting on site hopefully in a couple of months' time is at Finsbury Park. Finsbury Park is a tremendous transport hub. It's 189 beds opposite the entrance to Finsbury Park train tube station. We'll have a bar and block restaurant on the ground floor. When I'm looking for sites in central London, clearly connectivity is key. So ensuring that you know it's in the right location, obviously that we've got the right quantum of bedrooms, and also making sure that we're in tune with where there are particular areas of regeneration and investment and ensuring that as a business we're a part of that. A great example of that is a hotel that we delivered down on the banks of the Thames, predominantly residential-led but mixed-use scheme where we bring our great Premier Inn brand to that environment. In Barnet, the high street there is you know in trouble as a lot of high streets are so we can bring a, an anchor to that end of the shopping centre. And we're now looking to actually put a beef eater restaurant underneath the hotel there. We can be very flexible, we can work in any shape and form with councils and developers alike. The opportunity for growth for Premier Inn in Ireland, we believe, is, is huge. The whole of the Dublin market and the whole of Ireland has changed incredibly over the last 10 years. There is a known demand and undersupply of hotel accommodation and we believe we can fill that and be the number one operator. The initial focus is growth in Dublin and we believe there's an opportunity for up to two and a half thousand rooms in Dublin. Our first site that we have secured in Dublin is a 97 bed hotel on South Great George's Street. That's a leasehold deal that's due to open in summer 2020. We've also invested 50 million euros of our own money on a second site on Abbey Street which is close to the O'Connell shopping quarter and we're expecting that to open in 2022. So we've made significant gains already and we're very keen and hungry to do more. Hub by Premier Inn is a compact hotel brand. The benefit of that for us is that it allows us to get in quite high value markets in property terms and also quite physically constrained sites. Some classic examples are a new build site we did at King's Cross. 
but also it's very useful for converting existing buildings, principally the older office buildings, whereby we can develop within the floor space. We did that very successfully on Tothill Street, and there are other examples of that. Hub is a more design-led brand. It uses clever technology, it uses innovative design, more funky food and beverage space, which reflects the locations that hubs are in. The Hub by Premier Inn brand was principally focused on London and then Edinburgh. What's exciting is that we're now confident that we can roll Hub out into you know, key and important provincial cities and towns across the UK. In central London, quite excitingly, we've trialled a new concept called Bar and Block. Great example of where this is doing very well and has given us the impetus to roll it out further is at our King's Cross Premier Inn. It's a fantastic food and beverage offering. It's a focus on hand-cut steaks with some sort of rustic design elements to it and it's received great customer feedback. On the back of that, it's given us the confidence to start rolling that out further selectively across our estate. It's going to be the food and beverage offering that will be appearing in our new Southwark Premier Inn. And also we've just converted an existing food and beverage area at our Goodman's Fields Premier Inn to a bar and block. The first Zip by Premier Inn Hotel has just opened in Cardiff. We have another site identified in Southampton and we'll be looking to probably bring through a couple more sites over the next 12 to 18 months. We're very hopeful that that brand becomes something that is, adds to the Whitbread portfolio. There are some particular markets that we don't have a, a brilliant representation in and where we'd like to improve that. For example, down in Southwark, in Vauxhall, the City Fringe, and looking further west even towards Shepherd's Bush and those kind of markets. And further rooms in Paddington and along the Euston Road. Really strong central Zone 1 locations where we still have a huge requirement and an appetite for, um, for further bedroom stock. Hotel developments are a type of use which brings a, a lot of benefits to an area. We have obviously the guest spending in the local area, that's important for businesses located around our hotels. We're big employers, we seek to reach out to communities locally to attract people in to work with us who live locally. We employ 35,000 people across our hotel and restaurant sites and we're obviously continuing to employ it as we grow. We have established charitable initiative with Great Ormond Street Hospital, very successful, and we also encourage our teams to go beyond that and reach out to local charities and play their part locally so we bring a whole package of benefits to the areas and we invest very much for the long term so it's not just a five-year investment it's a 25 plus year investment and we think in those terms. Whitbread's a FTSE 100 company with a great pedigree um, and an excellent track record um, which is of huge value when we're looking to structure deals. Furthermore, for developers that we're working with who might be looking to get development finance against that opportunity, the banks and other funding institutions are very keen to look to a Whitbread lease and at the moment we're seeing some all-time low yields being paid for strong, long income to Whitbread. We have no fixed design of how the building looks and feels. We're happy to work with developers on all types of sites. We're very flexible, so any opportunities that present themselves, we're happy to look at.